What's up guys, I'm here and today we're playing a little bit of The Witcher 3, Hearts of Stone. And this is a bit of a of the DLC actually. We're not doing anything in order. I'm actually pretty far into the game already. Greetings. So yeah, don't expect any playthrough of this. I'm just, I just feel like recording so much because I've been playing a lot of it. And yeah. Enjoy. Don't know how long this video is gonna be. Don't know if I'm gonna cut it up or not. Probably will. Take a peek if you don't mind. But yeah. There will be story spoilers, by the way, because we are going to be doing some of the story. Okay, you do not have any food. All I care about is food in this game. <laughs> because this DLC is rather difficult. And yeah. You have no money as well. I don't really feel like selling any of this. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll meet get going. Right now we're going to set up a heist. That's why you just heard me. A heist. And um, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go. We're actually trying to steal somebody's house, you know, because that makes sense. Come on, Roach. So, one thing I like about The Witcher is how good the game looks. Like, no matter where you go, you'll always enjoy like going on horseback or going on foot because like. The game itself is like really pretty and the atmosphere, everything about it, you just want to like go around and look at, look at everything. And sometimes if you're just going back and forth to the same places over and over again, yeah, that'll get tedious and you will want to fast travel. But when you're going and doing something like cool like this, and like you're running through all these forests, it's, I really like it. It just feels so good. Faster. And for some reason, every time I play this game, I get a very Metal Gear style feeling to it. Um, I don't know why. Just riding this horse makes me feel like it's Metal Gear. Solid 5. Nice. Alright, here we are coming up on the Redanian soldiers that we have to eavesdrop on for the heist. So we have to see where. What do you have to say? Okay. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the test apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Pay money to enter the army. That's weird. What do you have to say? I do ask. Well, think you. To marry into a Lord. dynasty like that, it'd be like living in clover. Trust me, you'd do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm, nothing interesting. Can one of you guys talk about the cut, please? That's all I want to know, apparently. Um, I don't really know why, why we want to pay, um... God, I can't talk. I don't really know why we want to know about the cut, but... <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 Two hundred and two feet. I guess we could run. It might be faster. So it, because Roche always gets stuck on stuff. You know. This game's world, like environment, is so lively. Like it, it looks so good, and there's always people running around doing stuff. Which is something that a game like um. I don't know, Metal... no, not Metal Gear. I guess Ghost Recon, since it does have like normal villages and towns. A game like Ghost Recon, or even some RPGs like Skyrim, and... Dare I say, Fable. <laughs> Is it the garrison? Oh, okay. Gotta meditate. Always oh, till 8am. If you're wondering where I got this sword right here. It's the curved sword. 
Um, it is DLC. It is called DLC. It's pretty good. It's my best one so far. The Ophiri, the Ophiri Kilji, Kilji, Kilik, Kilich. Yeah, no, you you can read it. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Just okay. Must be the cook. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Oh, yeah. Asking I love that. Lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out of kindness. That's Wait so cool. for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? Mum. Mum's the word. Understood. Open to the money. Go to the herbalist hut to prepare the robbery. Okay. See, what I thought this was going to be at first, um, this quest line, was that we would be able to choose who we got to perform the heist or the robbery, but apparently not. Like, I thought we were going to be, like, GTA style, because that's how they, like, kind of showed it off. Like, they had these pictures or signs with the faces on them, they would show you a cutscene of what they've done and, like, what their talents are, but, you know, I guess you just get... Each one, really. Because what I wanted to do, because like it was like this guy's a master locksmith or whatever, lock picker, and you know he was a really good lock picker. He'd never been caught before, and this guy he's really good at climbing stuff. He's never been caught before. He stole this big golden rooster off of the top of some tower, and this girl she's a really good acrobat, and so I thought that you were gonna choose from a select few, but apparently not. And one thing I liked about the, um, one part of the quest was the acrobat, where you have to go and shoot apples off of a person's head. And it was someone the game made you not, like, it's someone the game made you dislike already. Because the dude's just so, so much of a rude person to you. I don't want to say anything bad. Um, and you really just get the feeling that, you know, he's just a, a mean dude. He doesn't like you. He doesn't like anyone besides her. And you have to shoot the apples off of his head, his hand, and his foot. Or his hands and his foot. And he's like balancing them all. And he's like on one foot. It's really cool. And it's like the first time anything's been done in this game. I know this isn't how you go down, there's a ladder. <laughs> but faster. Faster way. Here we go. Yep. That bomb guy. I mean that dwarf with the beard and the patch I is the bomb guy. The unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold. That guy's the locksmith or ah, lock picker. At last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Everline, you will enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? No plan B. Hmm. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Oh, well, that's a good plan. Like that. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures, traps. And Anything inside. goes wrong? Well, I mean, it's Watch over. Nothing, Nothing else. Dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Oh, that's cool. Anyone sounds the alarm. Trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, 
My blend of saltpeter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. <sighs> Great. Aye, but you could... Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? No. Nope. All right. Okay. Let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mars? He's got a rather recognizable monk myself. I'll tend to that. Ha! Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With the old man's. How are you, though? If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have this little outfit devil. that we have right here. You ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. And some Assassin's Creed type stuff. Oh, those Assassin's Creed birds are coming right at you. said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start.
Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. I was hoping we'd get like bandit mask or something. You know. I like those though. Pretty spooky. Why don't we steal these paintings? Or that coat? Clear for now. Knock on wood. Okay, let's knock on it. I knocked on it. Pissing already well. Yes, Three people right here that those aren't guards though. Watch this. Guards! Guards! Oh that's that. You fucker. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Let's go on boy. <laughs> this is such a fair fight. Oh, yeah. We're not killing anybody guys, come on. We're just setting them on fire. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is such a stupid combo. Why aren't these guys running out? Oh my god, look at the camera freaking out. I'm glad this place isn't broken. I'm stuck behind these people. But, um, when I was in here before, when you were supposed to be in here, um, all of these textures are pretty much broken, like super hard. And there was one guy who didn't have his arms. Stop him! He's not to flee. Dang! <laughs> Imagine being, you know. Oh my God! Ooh. Oh. Girl, oh, let's say girl, so good at this. Ooh, you just killed someone. We already agreed I'm not killing anybody. Guys, guys, you already goofed. Lay down your arms. You have no chance. Perhaps not. This isn't good. I don't want them to kill anybody. Mercy, master. On the count of three, we go in. One, two. Is that really the smartest idea? One step closer, and folk will die. Hold now. We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages. Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Pull back from that. I'm about to use anything. I don't think Geralt would do that. I don't think Garrett would do that, so I'm gonna say not about to use them as, him, as shields. Not about to hide behind these folk. I'm letting them go. Because he already said he doesn't want to kill anybody. Any idea what will happen? Yes. And do you have any idea what will happen if you try to stop me? Out of my way. Now. Oh. <laughs> An honorable deed! The court's sure to consider it a mitigating factor. Now, you've one minute to come out. One at a time. Hands on your heads! I mean, we don't have to go I'm out. Going. Up the chimney and out. It's grown too hot, pure and simple. Best of luck, gentlemen. I'd gladly go with you, miss. But I'm afraid I'm a wee bit too bulky. It was a pleasure. This was horrible. You had your chance! Attack! <laughs> Still in or not. Okay. I thought okay. We'll try and hold off the assault. Are we really gonna still use a wooden sword? <laughs> Doesn't really seem like it's gonna be too helpful. Negotiator. Yeah. If this is all you guys brought, probably not great for you. I'm willing to bet that they probably would have came in no matter what. You know, because like, 
They're like, oh, you don't want to let them go. We're going in. Go. When you're getting beat by a guy with a wooden sword and you have like full bullet armor and a shield, that's when you know you're not very good at this whole soldier thing. Although, I guess like Geralt is the best swordsman like ever. Really? He's like never lost before. But still. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Oh, you don't even have your shield anymore. Like, no, it's, it's so dumb, but it's so good at the same time. So, Stranger. I thought we knew his name. Did we not? I wish I could see what my health is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and move this real quick. Um, can I? Yeah. No? Maybe? Wait. There we go. I guess we'll go bottom left. Yep. Okay. That's better. Okay, I still have full health. That's good. Had a stream overlay, and it was um pretty much covering up the whole health bar in parts of the little. AP meter. A mighty fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. With no time. Did you hire me? Pretty sure I hired you. For his house. We're searching a vault for his house. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. Oh yeah, I remember that. I mean, why not steal everything we see, right? Yep, the same painting for on the block. We know this girl. Just gonna search around. Make sure we're not oh battering ram. Maybe there's like a timer that we don't see. Yes. Oh no, they're trying to get in. Oh yeah, that could be the cutscene. So yeah. They probably weren't going to be able to get in at all. Why are there just you coins on the ground? Are these guys supposed to be threatening? Well. Why, why would you take off your mask? Greetings. Are you dumb? <laughs> it's like in GTA 5 where <laughs> um, Trevor just takes off his mask in the middle of the, the bank heist. In the beginning of the game, it's the first heist you do. It's how the game starts. Um, why? Ewald. 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 Yeah. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. But it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. See, I don't want to betray Ewald, but he's making it about family. And he's saying he'll give me whatever I want. I don't want to butt in though. I don't. I don't want to get in with it. 
Especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. Oh no, I still want your help. I fear it's no. too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. I'm almost certain that you're lying. Me, and you'll remain here forever. Oh, this is actually a hard choice. See, evil. <sighs> we didn't know who he was before. Horus, he's been mean to us the entire time. Or every time we've seen him so far, which is twice, including now. So, um, not, not much of a, not much of a really good image of him. I feel like the more respectable thing to do would be able to, would be to stick with Ewald and do what we meant to be doing, we're meant to be doing, and, ah, uh, he's making it about family though. I really don't want to be in it now, <laughs> because, you know. Ugh. God. I wasn't expecting a hard choice. <laughs> he says he'll drape me in gold. He says he'll get me whatever I want. I don't believe that. He can't keep me here for it forever. So, I'm sticking with evil because That's we had a plan. I'll stand with you and yeah. I'm not gonna just mess up the plan now. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass. Hallowed words, mate. I don't feel bad about- oh he's a boss, well. Are his bodyguards actually just as hell? Let's see. No, he has- he's really weak. Can I kill you? Oh, poor guy. I really hope he's not- are we using our slow- yeah, he's actually just dying right now. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to use a wooden sword, but I guess we're actually just killing them. Oh, I thought we just broke his knee with that, <laughs> I was about to say. Some UFC Anderson Silva, I think it was, that broke his knee, like, super hard. Not his knee, it was like some part of his leg. It wasn't Anderson Silva, it was someone else, but, you know, probably find out. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy, for your brother, I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Oh, that you owe. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Did you just kill him? I couldn't tell. I'm guessing, yeah. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bang. Like a beast. And you the cheek to plead? No, I guess he just cut his hand. Oh, yeah. That was pretty predictable. But, you know. Yeah. I mean, we don't really know the full backstory. So, can't really be too biased. Oh. Take that. Oh my god, it's stuck in his face. <laughs> oh. That's messed up. That's really messed up. Oh. God. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. Oh my god, if he just played us, used us. Are you serious? It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsoldi, long missing, will assume the fact that you know. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? I, I could just kill you right now. You know, I'm Geralt of Rivia, you know, the best sort of thing, you know? Keep calm. You tricked me. Could probably kill you like super hard. Let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind. It's cause I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. 
Yes. I don't have any reason to be on your side. Besides the fact that we made a deal. This is not a... See, we don't know anything about them. It's... This isn't a bus. We can figure this out. I don't know him, but I don't think I would care if I had to kill him. I'm gonna try not to kill him. I can drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. Yeah, that's you the right thing to say. This out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The so. So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Alright, we got his health. was a new crossbow right there. Nice. Honestly wasn't expecting anything from in here. In terms of weapons. Ooh, and it's better than mine. Not very surprising. It's a pretty bad crossbow that I already had. Let's see, anything we can get? Ruby necklace. Silver plate. Oh my god, if we can... Oh! Yes. Yes. Here we go. This is the, this is the true Dark Souls right here. Alright. Oh my god. I want to take that deer too, but we can't. <laughs> Just a big golden statue of a deer. Ooh. I already have that. Why don't I just... I don't know. Gold diamond ring. I don't take the ladders where we're from. Or where I'm from. We just drop down. Doesn't matter how high the ladder is. Oh, this is a really nice looking crossbow as well. I know I said I don't take ladders, but there's an exception. Black Pearl does. Pirates of the Caribbean Black Pearl. The bad movie. Oh, it looks like I'm over... But I don't know what to call it. So I don't. What is this? Guild of Sword. I don't know why I have that. Um, don't need that crossbow. Let's see. Those are both better than what I have right now. Oh yeah, of course they are. Um, I don't want to get rid of anything special. You know, you could have pulled the lever, right? Mr. Boysology. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, you were pretty bad. Awfully close, you old. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, play her moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. I like this guy. I don't like the big scar on the side of his head, but I like him. Alright. Looks like we're coming up on the end of the quest now. It's been about a good 35 minutes. 35. 35, I don't know. Um... But yeah. Given that we're pretty close to Ogre... We're not gonna end the episode here. Episode. We're not gonna end the video here. Just yet. 
We're gonna go ahead and finish up this quest. It's a bit, I know it's a bit odd to um, start in the middle of a quest for a video, but this video would be like an hour or two long if I hadn't. Because believe me or not, the first part of this quest is um... The first part of this quest is actually you gotta go and take a ghost and you gotta show him the time of his life. And you're at a wedding for like... An hour or two in real life and it's just very time consuming. And we're taking up a lot of time. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. That's better. All right. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. The papers. Where are they? You didn't ask for the papers. Fault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odin himself. King to ridicule a man. You should have been more specific. I mean... Dunno. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, Old Geard. I'm just fulfilling its terms to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Exactly, Mundo. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. <laughs> it's progress. We know why he needed his papers, papers, but you know. Sing the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and share cans in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. Made her wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Dang. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Uh, no, not really. To be honest, no, no, not really. Just asking out of courtesy. Hmm. Commendable manners. <laughs> well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? I need your last wish. The last thing you want. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. Why? They've been kicking that barrel around the entire time as well. If you came in and out of the store, or the inn, you would just see him kicking that barrel around and just kind of sitting on it. I don't know if that was supposed to be known to us, but yeah. Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. It's pretty messed up. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. 
For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye. Got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Yeah. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. I don't know, this is probably going to make him mad. Along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strength. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. I feel like Garrett ha Geralt has. Yeah, let's just go on with that. Ignore what he says. Heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Now what I think, I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations, as I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. That some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. Problem is, I don't know the road to care more. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Cut the shit, Ogird. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why? aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dauntless. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy, For some reason, the stream is like really dark. I, I don't know why. Book. Well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Well, that's the end of that quest. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed and want more Witcher, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I am. Out of here.